Hey guys, this is going to be my unboxing and review of the Gundam Converge EX-15 Neo Zeong. I'm super excited for this. As you guys know, I love Gundam Converge stuff. And I'm really, really looking forward to just going in and detailing this guy up. It's got a lot of detail there molded in. And a lot of it, you know, of course, is pre-painted, which is cool. But I definitely want to go in and add some more details, fill in the panel lines, add a couple more, uh, probably a lot more, <laughs> water slide decals because it's quite large. So it's going to be really cool. I'm I'm pretty sure this comes with a Shinanju. I'm going to be really disappointed if it doesn't come, actually come with a Shinanju, but I'm pretty sure it does. I don't have a converged Shinanju, and they actually can be a little bit expensive because they uh, are can be a little bit rare sometimes, so pretty sure it does. If it doesn't, um, I'll be sad. So anyway, let's just check it out. Here is the cover. The front's just really cool. There on the top, have a nice little close-up of the Shinanju there. On the side, just a side look without the fuel tanks. Pretty sure it does have the tanks though, yeah, here you can see on the back. It does have the tanks there on the bottom, but you can go without. I don't know why you would, but if you wanted to. Anyway, uh, it's got the arms for the front, but I think that's it. I don't think you can do anything with these back arms. But again, I don't remember. It's not pictured on the box. Of course, I saw like all the promo images online. Uh, this one doesn't have like the price here, but I think this was something like 3,200 yen, 3,500 yen, something like that. So a little bit exp expensive, around $30 or something. But I think it's worth it. There's a lot of stuff in here. I, right, first off the bat, I can see here's the Shinanju right on top. So, luckily, it does come with the with the Shinanju, or it only comes with the top half of the Shinanju. What is this? Um, um, what is this? What am I seeing here? Because <laughs> here is the top half of the Shinanju. The Shinanju backpack, Shinanju feet, shield, horn, and no legs. I mean, I guess it doesn't need legs, because it's just sitting in there, and the feet stick out the back, I guess. Uh, it's kind of odd that they would have the feet there. So maybe it only comes with just the top half of a, half of a Shinanju, but so that's kind of weird. I mean, I'm going to have it inside anyway, so not really a, a big deal. It does come with this space here, of course. We'll take a look at that and get this opened up, but uh, let me just grab my knife here. Just pull that out for you. There you go. So pretty cool base there, it's like smoke clear, kind of. And then here is a look at, didn't cut that, there we go. Here's a look at like the top half. It definitely looks a little bit darker, I think, than how it looks in the picture, which is fine, not really a big deal. But I'm not too worried about that anyway. In here, we have kind of the main lower body part. This is a really huge piece. Let's cut that open. Look at all of that awesome thruster detail in there. Cool! It looks so good. And the top half of that. So yeah, this is definitely like a little bit like harder plastic here. Don't know if you can hear that. Uh, so that is going to be kind of interesting. It's not like the typical soft plastic that like Converge figures are mostly made up of. I think this uh, stuff, yeah, it's a little bit different plastic. Uh, this one is maybe the same, but anyway, so I guess that just fits onto there like that, basically. Very cool. That ass on NZ999, they're printed on the back. A lot of these figures have like the number of them on, like printed on them, which is kind of interesting. Here we got the tanks and the shoulder parts, it looks like. This big shoulder parts like that, which I'm guessing will just fit onto here. It does come with instructions in there, but it seems to be pretty self-explanatory. Relatively simple, here's the instruction sheet. Uh, I'll pay attention to that maybe on how to put in the Shinanju in before the main parts. It seems relatively simple. Uh, and then we have the fuel tanks here. Let's put these on, see how those are looking. Nice 
pre-painting on there, that white stripe, the silver detail on there, again just loads of thrusters all underneath looking super nice, all that detail. These will just, I don't think there's a exactly a left and a right, I think they're the same, so let's just plug into there like that, there we go. And it's looking pretty awesome, yeah, I like the size of this. Uh, let me just uh, pull out, here's all the arms here in this bag. Let me get this guy all totally put together and then we'll come back. Alright, so here we are, and ah, I almost forgot to mention that it does also of course come with a piece of Bandai gum. The flavor on this lasts for roughly two to three seconds. And so, all together, it's looking pretty awesome. There is a little bit of articulation to this. Uh, the elbows bend on the arms, the hands can... I'm oh, sorry you guys can't see that. I'm noticing it does do that a little bit as well, so you may want to glue the base where the base plugs into, or like the arm of the base plugs into there. It tends to come out a little bit if you're moving that around, so. Uh, the hands do rotate, and there are only two arms with hands. These other arms <laughs> specifically don't have hands on there, so like the detail is all filled in there, whereas these other ones do actually just have holes for holding the hands. Uh, these arms here on the back also bend at the elbow, so those can bend like that. And then you could rotate these up if you wanted and have them like bent like that, I suppose, if you wanted. But that's pretty much is all that you can really do with those, so they're pretty much just going to be like that. And the Shinanju's little footsies are there in the back. You can just see them just peeking out those little feet pieces. These fuel tanks seem to be kind of like in the way. Uh, I think they could have just gone, if they were making like a special version of the uh, conversion on juice specifically for this, where it's like just the top half, I think they could have just done without the fuel tanks. I don't, I wouldn't really have complained about that, have complained about that. Uh, but otherwise, everything is really nice, like I said, really awesome detail, everything fits together really well. We'll definitely have to glue this base, it seems, for, to get that to stay on there, but otherwise really happy with this. The only small complaint that I do have is like, this just tends to happen sometimes with these plastic parts. But you can see like the nub mark from where this was clipped off just in the factory. So you can see like right there on that part. And there's a few other ones around in some areas on the kit. Unfortunately, so I'll have to try to see what I can do about those. Uh, probably not a whole lot. Or if you guys have any good ideas about what to do about those. Because I'm not going to be repainting this whole thing. Uh, I will just like be painting in some details. But I don't want to repaint the whole thing. I'm not that motivated <laughs> or I am that lazy. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any good ideas about what to do about those unfortunate numb marks, I'm all ears. But in the meantime, that is it for this review. It's a really cool thing. Uh, if you guys didn't uh, pre-order it, I'm sure you can probably still buy it. So maybe check out HLJ. I'm not sure uh, how often these EX kits get uh, reissued. Uh, aside from their first batch, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, let me just give this also a little black light test here under UV light. I don't think anything is going to really be showing up. Maybe the Shinanju's eye? No, unfortunately not even that. Other thing, oh, before I forget, the shield, as you'll notice, is very plain and red. So that is also unfortunate. I'm going to see what I can do about painting that, but it doesn't have all the detail on there to like really go in and paint in like all the gold lining on there that it should have. So, but again, that's on the back, and I doubt that I'm ever really going to be looking at this from the back, so I'm not really too miffed about that. Alright, and I suppose you guys probably also want a size comparison, so here it is compared with a just regular 1144 scale Gundam, so about 18 meter tall, just standard Gundam, and here is just a regular size Converge figure, so, I mean, I guess you could tell, if you know how big Converge figures are, the Shinanju in there is a typical Converge size. So, yeah, it's a pretty good size. It's not quite as tall as a Master Grade, but it's a pretty big size kit. Unfortunately, it would be nice to be able to compare this to the SD, uh, SD version of the Neo Zeon, which I have that kit, but I haven't snapped it up yet, so maybe in the future, whenever I review that kit. I'll uh, just do a little comparison for this just so you guys can see them side by side for the details. But that is it for the review guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, comments, leave those down below. Like I said, I got this from HLJ. If you guys uh, want to get it, I'm sure you can pick it up there or just do some googling. You can find where to buy one. Thanks as always for watching. See you next time. Bye bye!